The tower, which completely dominated the whole stadium, was the largest ever to have been erected at Wembley, rising high above the stands themselves and the accommodation for 100,000 spectators. While work on the jump progressed rapidly, the competitors arrived in London. From Austria, Finland, France and Italy, Norway, Sweden, Switzerland and West Germany, the cream of Europe's ski jumpers came to England. Their hosts were the members and officials of the Ski Club of Great Britain, and greeting them here is Major Peter Falls. Fifty tons of artificial snow used on the landing slope and outrun were specially manufactured and laid ready to receive the first of the jumpers. During the last few years, Plastics of various kinds have been used in Europe as an alternative to snow to allow summer jumping. But at Wembley, PVC monofilament mats were used only for the run-in. For the rest, it was crushed ice, cold, wet and very real. To protect it from the rain and sunshine of an English summer, it was covered by straw matting until the moment when practice began. His Royal Highness the Duke of Gloucester and his son Prince William were greeted by Sir Charles Taylor and escorted to their seats in the royal box. The small boys in the shadow of the scaffolding think of it perhaps as some mammoth construction toy. The band of the Welsh guards marched and countermarched. The competitors made their final preparations. The binding on the skis are much lighter than those used ordinarily, so that in the event of a bad fall, the boot comes easily from the ski. To obtain the maximum speed and momentum prior to takeoff, the jumping skis, a couple of feet longer than normal skis, are carefully waxed. There are three grooves on the running surfaces instead of the usual one, and another difference from ordinary skis is the plastic strip known as a milk edge. These differences are designed to keep the jumper absolutely straight as he comes down the narrow run-in. The long climb is over. The crowd hold their breath as the jumper hurtles down the run-in, takes off and gracefully, uh, well, some were not so unlucky. This is a beautiful jump. The style is perfect, and Harry Bergvist, the Swedish national champion, won a lot of marks from this.